Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Today's big news is the launch of the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. The new Pi sports a 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex A53 CPU with video core 4 GPU packaged into the new BCM2837 chip. This 1.2 GHz CPU offers about 50% speed improvement over and above the Pi 2's BCM2836. The other major news is that the Raspberry Pi 3B now has built-in 802.11n Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4, courtesy of the very shiny and hard to photograph new BCM43438 chip on the underside of the board. The Raspberry Pi 3 is the same shape and size and footprint as the 2B and the B+. So it looks like a Raspberry Pi, it feels like a Raspberry Pi, it's a bit faster, what about the price? It's also the same traditional Raspberry Pi Model B basis price of $35 and you can get one from RS, Allied or any of the Pi resellers like the Pi Hut. What about connectivity? Well, most of the connectors are the same as on the Pi 2. You've got four USB ports, 100 base T Ethernet, a four pole connector for stereo audio and composite video, camera port, HDMI 1.4, power in, DSi port and your 40 pin GPIO header in the standard Pi layout. The antennas positioned where the power and act LEDs were on Pi 2. These LEDs have been moved to the other side of the DSi connector. The run header for resetting the Pi has also been repositioned near the USB ports. The micro SD card slot is no longer click in click out, it's now a friction fit like the Pi Zero. This should avoid accidentally popping out the SD card, which I've done a few times. There's a new GPIO expander chip at U20. I'm not quite sure what this is for yet, but it is suspiciously close to the DSi port. U16 is now covered with a black shield, so we shouldn't see any more of the Xenon death flash resetting your Pi when you take flash photographs of it. Because the CPU is more powerful, the recommended PSU spec has increased from 2 to 2.5 amps, this should give enough headroom for devices plugged into USB. So what are the real world differences? It's faster, it has built-in Wi-Fi, the web browsing experience is now comparable with that of a decent smartphone. It boots to the desktop in about 27 seconds compared with the Pi 2B's 28 seconds and Pi Zero's 42 seconds. LibreOffice Writer opens in about 7 seconds and Scratch in about four seconds. The built-in Wi-Fi capability frees up a USB port and potentially saves five to 10 pounds on a Wi-Fi dongle. The Bluetooth capability saves another USB and another few pounds too. But what really impressed me the most in playing with the Pi 3B was the improved web browsing performance. Loading up the Raspi TV site, which isn't particularly designed for lightness, and watching an embedded video using the inbuilt Wi-Fi was a pleasant experience. Even the Pi 2 was a bit too slow at this for my patience threshold, but now I think the Raspberry Pi has really arrived as a usable alternative to a desktop computer. No, I'm not going to give up my quad-core i7 MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM to use a Pi 3B for day-to-day -day work, but it's now fast enough not to be off for the iPad generation. Congratulations to Raspberry Pi and the engineering team for coming up with the goods yet again and for keeping it down to the same $35 plus shipping and taxes price. I'm sure this is going to be another smash hit. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.